Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be configuring Microtik Hap Light and we'll be configuring it as a repeater. What we need to do first of all is to go to wireless. Double click on this WLAN. Go to wireless. Our mode will be station bridge because I'm extending from a Microtik router. But if you're going to extend from other brands of router, you use Station Studio Bridge. Uh, you click your band. SSID. Your SSID will be same as it is on your primary router. So I'm typing in my SSID just as it is on my primary router. wireless protocol 02.11 let's set up a security profile click on security profile click on the plus sign let's name this primary router password router password mode dynamic keys Click on WPA2 PSK. Check on check on these TK IP boxes. The password I will be using here will be exactly the same thing I have on my primary router. Kindly take note. Apply. And OK. Next, what I will do is to create a, vi a virtual Wi-Fi. Click on the plus sign. Click on virtual. Go straight to SSID. I would love to give my repeater a different name, but if you want to use same name on your repeater, I mean same SSID, no need for you to change it here. Just click, just type in exactly the same thing you have on your primary router but in this video i'll be using a different ssid for my repeater let me use co network i'll be creating a security profile for my repeater click on the plus sign let's name this repeater repeater password mode dynamic keys WPA2 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 let me use this as my password just for the purpose of this video remember to check your boxes your TKIP boxes apply and ok just go back to our virtual configuration Click on security profile, click on repeater password, apply, and OK. We are done with our wireless configuration. What we need to do next is to go to bridge. We want to put all on our ports on bridge. Apply. OK, go to ports, click the plus sign. First, let's bridge our Wi-Fi. That's the WLAN one. OK, see, so click your plus sign. Now we are click. Now we are trying to bridge the Ethernet port. One, apply. OK. apply okay that's what it had to for the purpose of this video i will not be bridging my ether 3 so that i won't get disconnected so i will skip it at 3 and to it at 4 apply okay next what to do is to create a dhcp client 
go to IP, click DHCP clients, click on the plus sign here. It should be on bridge interface. Remember, we've bridged all our ports. Apply and OK. Next is to give our router a name. Go to system, click on identity. Let's name this CO router. Apply and OK. Just for you to confirm that your repeater has actually connected to your primary router, go to wireless, go to Wi Fi interfaces, double click on the blue LAN one, check the status, click on status. As you can see, our device is connected. You can see our signal strength and our SSID. So, guys, that's all you need to do when you want to use a microtic router as a repeater. Thanks for watching. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.